died at approximately 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, which is about 35 minutes ago. After being shot at... After being shot... By an unknown assailant... By an unknown assailant... During a motorcade drive through downtown Dallas... During a motorcade drive through downtown Dallas... The president died... The president died... Approximately 25 minutes... Approximately 25 minutes... After the attack took place... After the attack took place... That was the broadcast on NBC 50 years ago as Chet Huntley and Frank McGee announced the death of President Kennedy. In honor of the assassination of President Kennedy, we're joining those across the country in a moment of silence. And this is a live look at the ceremony that is happening in Dallas today to pay tribute to the slain president. The event is happening in Dealey Plaza, where John F. Kennedy was shot. The event was by invitation only, and some lucky 5,000 guests were selected in a lottery system. Visitors began arriving at Dealey Plaza as early as 6 a.m. for a spot at the ceremonies, marking the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President Kennedy. A retired priest in Dubuque is spending this anniversary reflecting on his own memories with JFK. Monsignor Francis Friedel spent a day with then-Senator John F. Kennedy when the politician gave the Loris College commencement speech in 1956. Friedel says Kennedy had a special place in many Dubuque's hearts, being both a Democrat and a Catholic, a combination that made up the majority of Dubuque's population at the time. He was a good when I say he was a good Catholic, I know that he had a lot of you know, lot of uh, things that, were, that he did wrong. But then he was, <laughs> he's such a likable man, you excuse all the things he did wrong. Charity to him. Monsignor Friedel says Kennedy attended Mass at St. Patrick's Church in Dubuque before well, giving the speech at Loris. And here's the front page of Dubuque's Telegraph Herald newspaper from the evening of November 22nd, 1963. Kennedy assassinated, along with the news of Johnson's presidential oath-taking and details on a requiem mass. At that time, the Telegraph Herald had an evening edition. No longer the case. Such interesting details coming yeah. out of all of this. Think of all the memories Monsignor Friedel has. Oh, Isn't that cool? Amazing. Yeah, actually say, hey, I shook his hand. I was with him. Imagine that. Gives you chills. It really does, yeah. The weather's giving us chills yeah. today, too. It's really cold and windy outside, but thankfully, Natasha, the roads this afternoon much better shape than they were in this morning. We're seeing more normal from the Iowa State Patrol and the Iowa DOT. Nothing showing up anymore on Storm Track 7 Doppler radar, so nothing more to ice up those roads or slicken them up. It's cold outside, though. 34 Iowa City. 25 Waterloo, 30 in Cedar Rapids, and 32 degrees now in Dubuque. Everybody has that cold northwest wind. Boy, it's been a windy stretch here lately. That's not going to change anytime soon. And our temperature, said to say, won't change much either. We'll have highs today around 30, 32 degrees, or so should drop to about 20 or so at 9 o'clock tonight. And with that wind still 10 to 20 miles an hour, we will be dealing with wind chills all day today, all night tonight, and much of the upcoming weekend. Don't you just love November sometimes? I'll have your storm track seven day forecast in a bit. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. Money matters now. The Waterloo Women's Correctional Facility can finally house residents. Due to funding, the new Women's Center has sat empty for two and a half years. Women have been staying at the Waterloo Residential Correctional Facility where men are housed. New funding this fiscal year means women can now have to have their own facility, making more room for everyone. Absolutely, it's good for the taxpayer. Uh, not everyone belongs in prison. Um, so this uh, facility offers something that prison doesn't. The center has room for 45 women and is scheduled to open in about a week and a half. The topic of gangs is one that rears its head occasionally in Dubuque. This Sunday, our coverage partners at the Telegraph Herald take a look at gangs in the key city, if there are any, and if so, how they look different from bigger cities' gangs. It's a little hard to gauge when you're talking to people just what the problem is, how big it is, uh, just because their people have their uh, own thoughts on it and what they've heard. And uh, so I wanted to talk to some of the people uh, that live in the community as well as uh, who work at businesses in uh, certain areas that people have more of a stigma that more crime happens in certain areas. And uh, I also talked with the uh, police department to get an idea of what exactly the gang activity is here that they are seeing. The gang expert for the Dubuque police that I talked to, uh, he did say that there are gangs in Dubuque 
and several different kinds of gangs. People might be surprised at uh, just the variety of uh, people that claim a certain gang tie. It's not the gangs in the sense of what people might think of in larger cities where there's a lot more violence and just certain neighborhoods that you can't even go through. Uh, it's a little bit more fragmented here. For more on this story, check out this Sunday's edition of the Telegraph Herald newspaper out of Dubuque. In your health, new research suggests dreading inevitable pain may be worse than the pain itself. Study participants were asked to choose between a real electric shock now or an imagined painful dentist appointment in the future. Most people chose to get the pain out of the way after they took into account how the prolonged dread would make them feel. Researchers say understanding how the brain processes anticipation and dread could help improve patients' experiences with painful tests and treatments. A large study of postmenopausal women links sugar-sweetened beverages to a certain type of endometrial cancer. Women who reported consuming the highest levels of sugary drinks had a 78% increased risk of estrogen-dependent type 1 endometrial cancer. The more women drank, the higher their risk. The link appears to be rooted in obesity. Obese women tend to have higher levels of insulin and estrogen, which are risk factors. The federal government has lifted the ban on HIV-positive organ transplants for other HIV-infected people. On Thursday, President Obama signed into law the HIV Organ Policy Equity Act. HIV-positive patients awaiting an organ transplant will now be able to receive organs from other HIV-infected people getting rid of the ban received bipartisan support in Congress. Men who don't get enough sleep may die at a younger age. Researchers studied more than 23,000 men who reported symptoms of insomnia. They found those who experienced trouble falling asleep and felt like they never got deep sleep were more likely to die from heart-related issues. Experts say this shows there's a link between sleep quality and mortality, and adults should make sleep a priority. Coming up, looking for something to do this weekend. We'll have a preview of the movies being released this weekend. And Jeff has another check of your Storm Track seven day forecast when we return. Cookies. I better not right now. Your Storm Track 7 forecast on the KWWL News at Noon. Brought to you by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Senate agency issued its first policy over 90 years ago. You could say we've seen it all. So when you have a claim, chances are we've been through it. A claim is our time to shine as your agency. We're here to walk you through the process from start to finish. A lot of our clients find security in knowing that we're in it with them. You'll know we've placed your business with a reputable company. It's the right coverage and we'll be with you throughout the claims process. Get with us so we can be there with you. Get with the Senate agency. Hurry into Mattress Firm's Veterans Day Sale, where mattresses store-wide are red-tagged and on sale at rock-bottom prices. Nearly every mattress in-store is red-tagged with up to $400 off. Now through Monday, Sealy Firm Queen sets are red-tagged at the unheard-of price of just $2.97. Plus, buy a mattress set and get a twin-size mattress absolutely free. And sleep interest-free with 0% APR for five years during Mattress Firm's Veterans Day Sale. Mattress Firm. Save money. Sleep happy. We can fix that. Young Plumbing and Heating. Over four generations.